so Bob, reflecting on the last 12 to 18 months and looking forward, what are the challenges on the horizon for the sector and board members in particular? Well, I think we've had something of a perfect storm this year. We had a whole series of challenges come together uh, to impact on our, our, our operations and, in, and on our uh, residents as well. They've been directly affected. So we've seen uh, costs of living, we've seen uh, costs of energy in particular ballooning. Uh, we've seen the uh, rise in interest rates in the last year. And of course, we've seen the challenges to the quality of the service that we provide, or rather the consistency of that quality. Uh, and in particular, it's fallen short in some occasions. So really big strategic issues. And I think this is the point at which boards come into their own. They need to play their strategic role. They need to play their role, as Terry talked about, of challenge and support at the same time. They need to be able to understand the experience, the lived experience of their residents and make sure that everything they're doing uh, as a housing association has that in mind. And, and I tend to think of, in my mind, what I call the four S's. Uh, first of those being service. This is our license to trade. We have to deliver consistently good responsive services that meet the needs of our residents. Uh, and uh, that's become increasingly challenging. I think we also have to be very, very aware of what their life is like and the pressures that they are facing as well. Second S for me is safety. We absolutely have to address the issues on our buildings. That's going to take, still for a while, a big spend. Uh, and we're on the way on it, but we haven't finished it like uh, a lot of housing associations, and we need to press on with it. Um, the third S really here is sustainability. This is a long-term challenge. We're going to need to work on this for a decade or more. Uh, and I would say most housing associations now have a plan, but there's some way off uh, delivering that plan. Indeed, some way off knowing how to deliver that plan. Uh, and then just finally, uh, supply. This often is the bit that gets squeezed when we come to think about our choices. Uh, and certainly I would expect that we'll see quite a reduction in the number of starts in the year ahead. But it's desperately important that we keep building genuinely affordable homes in this country. We cannot let that agenda slip. And housing associations are critical to that. So yes, uh, we have a lot to be proud of as a sector, but we face some really big challenges in the year ahead. And I've uh, believed for some time that this particular conference is incredibly important. I think this year it's more important than ever because we need to honestly engage in these big choices these big priorities and think about how we're going to make the decisions uh, and steer our organisations in a way that supports the residents.